All right, so what are shape keys and how can you use them in modeling? So shape keys in Blender are the equivalent of morph targets or blend shapes in other 3D applications. Shape keys allow you to make morphs to your meshes, such as an indentation on a cushion from the weight of somebody sitting on it or an expression on a face. But then you can use a slider to either turn the shape or the morph off completely or blend the morph from any place in between 0 and 100%. Shape keys aren't limited to meshes, but they work with curved segments, as I'm going to show. Shape keys can be very intricate, and they can be created for many different points on a model. And then they can be adjusted to create a wide variety of changes to the look of your model. Uh, shape keys can be animated, which I'm going to show right now. Um, shape keys can be hidden or pinned. There are advanced options using vertex groups as well. You can transfer shape keys from one model to another model, so long as the different models have an equal or identical number of vertices. You can also mirror shape keys and you can drive shape keys and a whole bunch of other things. Alright, so for creating a shape key. So we have our model here and this could be anything obviously and this is the original shape. This is the resting state. This is the basis point for our model. Okay, So to use shape keys what you want to do is you want to go to the properties editor you want to go to the data panel and I'll go ahead and just hide these other uh, sections so we're just focusing on the shape keys alright so the first thing that you're gonna do in object mode with your object selected is you're going to press this plus button here and that is going to be the basis point the resting point the natural state the original shape of your object alright so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna press this button again and you're going to get your first shape and so this is the one that we're going to play with. If you want to rename it, you can double click it. You can name it whatever you want. Hit enter. All right. So now what I'm going to do is, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into edit mode here, and of for the shape, and I'm going to just start moving some points around. However, I prefer. All right. So I've drastically changed the cube from what it was to something else. All right. Now you'll notice there that when I switched between edit mode and object mode that I lost my changes. The reason why is because when you're in object mode, the shape key reflects this value here. This value is set at 0, 0.000, which means that there is absolutely no influence coming from the shape key. If I raise this to 1 or 100%, then you're going to see the full effect, or I can go anywhere in between there all right and this is how animation works also because in my timeline down here if I change my end frames to say 10 frames all right and so I'm on my first frame and you can hover the mouse button over the value and you can hit I that will set the keyframe for that shape uh, that state and then I'll just go to the very last uh, frame in the timeline and I will increase my value all the way to 100% and then I will hover over it and hit I again and it will save that. So now if I play my animation you'll see that it is animating between the basis and interpolating all the way through to the full deformation created with the shape key. Let's now move on and see how to bend an object using a curve modifier and then animate that curve segment using a shape key. Okay, so I'm going to show how to animate an object bending. So to get started, what we're going to do is create an object that we can bend. So I'm going to take this default cube here, and I'm going to scale it in the uh, Z a bit, and then I'm going to scale it in the X a bit. And then I need to create some resolution where the bend will occur. So I'm going to go into edit mode and select this edge here, and I'm going to make a Control R, make a loop right there, and then do the same thing right there, and then another one. I'm going to roll the mouse wheel a couple times so I can get some good resolution. Now, when using a curve modifier to make an object bend, you're going to want to do it from the top view down. That's just how it works. And so I'm going to do that now. I'm going to hit 7 on the numpad. I'm in top perspective, so when I hit 5, now I'm in top orthographic view. And I want to rotate it. I, I know my axes because I've memorized, but this red one here, this is X. And so I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to rotate 
the object in the X 90 degrees and I'm going to hit enter okay and when I'm in edit mode it's really nice because I can see all of my wireframe on my object when I'm in object mode I can't I want to fix that so I'm going to go to the properties editor I'm going to come over here to the object panel and then under display I'm going to click on wire and then draw all edges and so now I can see that all right the next step is to create the bezier curve so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit shift A and I'm going to go to curve bezier there we go I'm going to go into wireframe mode just so I can see this and show you how this looks when it, by default it's got a natural curve to it but I actually want to get rid of that so I'm going to go into edit mode it's already selected but I'm just going to show you that it, how to select it so I A to unselect so A again to select it's all selected I'm going to hit S I'm going to scale it on the Y, 0, and hit enter. All right, And then I'm going to grab this control point and I'm going to rotate it. I um, want to rotate 90 and that is the wrong way. Then I hit minus so that I can do a negative 90 and then I hit enter. And then I'm going to hit G, Y, so I'm translating it in the Y and then finalize it. Okay, so I've got my my curve there. I'm going to just scale it down a bit and I'm going to move it over kind of the area where I want the bend to happen. Uh, I still don't like that shape so I'm going to move it over just a tiny bit like that. All right. And then also uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extrude it in the Y right there on that end. I'm going to choose this control point and extrude it in the X. All right. So I've got a nice uh, bend shape there. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to take um, this object here and go to the modifiers panel, add a modifier, choose curve, and I can either use this picker list to select the Bezier curve or I could choose the eyedropper and I could select the object that way. Um, the way that it works is you can either move the curve or the object or you can tweak both, it doesn't matter. So, I'm gonna, so with this object selected here I'm just going to move that to like right there um, just so you can see yeah see I can move this also and refine what I want this bend to look like all right okay so we've got this uh, this bend now we're gonna use shape keys here but the problem is that we've already got uh, this curve bent and we want to start out with it straight that's the basis for the original shape and so I'm going to have to basically destroy this bend here. But uh, anyway, let me show you how that works. So I'm going to go to the Properties Editor. I'm going to go to the Data Panel, which looks like a curve when you're dealing with curves. It looks like a little triangle mesh when you're dealing with meshes. And it's not under the Shape thing, but it's under Shape Keys right there. Okay. So before I create my basis, I want to go ahead and just make this flat again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on... Um, I'm going to click it right here to create my 3D cursor. And then down here on the pivot, I'm going to change that to 3D cursor. And, you know, this isn't perfect, but hopefully it, it works. Um, so I select these two control points, and I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees, and I'm going to hit Enter. And it's, like, really messed up, so let me just move this... Uh, over here a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to eyeball it. And then I'm going to turn this back to median point for a second. Select this thing, this curve, scale it in the Y, 0, and enter just to make it flat. Alright. And uh, I'm going to go back and change it to the 3D cursor. Alright. Okay. So I've got my curve shape here. I'm going to hit this plus button. It's going to add the basis hit the plus button again, that's going to be my curve shape. I'm going to double click on it and just type in curve right there. And then I'm going to go into edit mode. With curve selected, I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm just going to select these two control points here and I'm going to rotate it in the 90 degrees negative and hit enter. And then it's not looking right so I'm going to move this like it's about right there or wherever I prefer okay and 
now I've got when I you see when I went into object mode there it just made that disappear that's because over here in the shape keys with the with the curve shape key the value is at zero which is reflecting the basis and so you'll see that when I change this here it'll actually uh, move to the shape I just made all right so the final step in this process is just making this animated and so what I'm going to do right now is uh, just add a camera to the scene so I can and I'm gonna hit zero so I can look through it and I have a little add-on here I believe it's from Lepinier's tools on blender market uh, lock camera to view it just makes it more convenient but if you hit N and go to your property shelf under the view section you can click on lock camera to view and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to roll this out a little bit here um, it's hard to move because I'm in top view and I'm not used to uh, to working this way let me turn that off there uh, so what I want to do actually is before I go farther is just with the camera selected I'm going to shift select the object and also the curve and I'm going to hit control G to add it to a group and I'm just going to go ahead and rotate the whole group uh, rotate it in the X 90 degrees and hit enter so now when I look through it at least it's uh, you know familiar uh, let me look through it again sorry I'm just going to use this it's just easier for me and I'm just going to get that positioned like so and then turn it off again all right okay so for the animation we're going to go back to the uh, curve shape that we've got here um, the, sh the shape key I'm going to change the end frames to say 50 so that this isn't a terribly long animation and go to the first frame and I'm going to turn this down to zero right there and then while I'm hovering over it I'm going to hit I to set the keyframe and then I'm going to go to the very last keyframe I'm going to turn the value all the way up to 100 percent hover over it and I'm going to hit I all right now I'm going to just uh, go into solid view and go to the beginning of my animation and then you'll see when I hit play that I've got the bend occurring all right so that is how to bend to animate an object bending using shape keys and I will also cover how to do it with hooks and how to do it with an add-on called animal so anyway hopefully uh, that's helped and I'm gonna move on <laughs>